welcome to AEBAS which is Aadhaar enabled biometric system for central government employees. We have been given a mandate to implement and roll out the AEBAS on headquarters office of East Coast Railway at Bhubaneswar and the three divisions at Khurda Road, Walter and Sambalpur. I, Senior System Manager IT Hansraj Sharma, will take you through the necessary steps so that you are able to register your organization and you also will get familiar with the relevant screens that the portal throws up on you uh, so that the help desking required at both ends is minimal. Well, the first thing that should be done is you should provide the relevant URL in any of the browsers but I suggest you uh, have Mozilla Firefox all the time so your URL is attendance.gov.in once you press the return key you should be getting a screen something like this you should go to the second tab which is organization registration it throws up a screen which looks like this here you will see that your organization will not be featuring in all these names the reason is you should first download the onboarding form which is a two page PDF it looks something like this it has got the instructions it has got some details to be mentioned and it has to be signed by the head of the department with signature and seal. I will tell you what I had done in our case. In our case, we decided that our organization will be a department under ministry. It shall be known as East Coast Railway Headquarters Finance. It shall have an address Rail Southern South Block, second floor Bhuvaneshwar. The district, the state, the NIC coordinator mobile, the NIC coordinator email, our website, number of employees, office timings, nodal officer's name, Aadhaar number of the nodal officer, designation of the nodal officer, the mobile number of the nodal officer and his email duly signed by the head of the department which in our case is FNCOG along with his signature and seal and this information <coughs> was emailed at this address which is helpdesk attendance at gov.n once they receive our relevant details via the onboarding form what they do is they include the name of the organization somewhere in this drop down list you should be on a watch out for the next couple of days in our case it happened on the third or fourth day so once your name appears in this organization you have to then go to the relevant URL in our case they had changed the URL to central was central dot attendance dot gov dot in slash register slash organization maybe in your case it can be different so it will be something which will look like this once you get into that uh, URL and uh, you are able to locate your organization's name in the drop down list they will ask you to then fill up the relevant details they will expect you to fill up the relevant details in these fields which is the state the district the pin code the landline phone coordinator's name nodal officer is Aadhaar these details have already been mentioned in the onboarding format that you had provided to these people but they now expect you to 
send all these details through online format which is this this particular form and also upload this form once again which you had sent through email along with a confirmation code this is a little bit of challenge because initially they were uh, mixing up capitals with small cases but I found that it is better if there is a confusion you change the text and then try to do the needful once you submit this online format for organization registration they will give you a confirmatory message of having received your request and will also notify you that a OTP a one-time password will be sent to the mobile number and the email which have been provided in this e-form you should be on the lookout for the OTP once the OTP has been received I will take you tr through the next series of steps which will then enable you to register your organization for providing attendance thank you for now this was the first step and we shall call it as registering the organization oblique onboarding of the organization